Okay, so I noticed that in my previous videos, which you should kindly check out, that uh, the audio was really poor because this room, the room that I was in, had no soundproofing. I think also this room is actually poor. I'm going to check out the audio, but I think it will be better. So until I get a mic stand, I'll be holding the mic like this. So hope you understand why I'm holding the mic now. Okay, what's up programmers alvin here from alvin jpeg ma2 today i'm going to be showing you some uh extra tip uh this video is for only guys who use on pc software for running shows well of course you cannot only use the on pc software for running shows you need like some sort of ma hardware because if you run a show without any ma hardware it's illegal and you could actually get sued for that so you need some some sort of hardware from from ma2 maybe like that maybe the cheapest hardware that can allow you to to do a show is called is the 2k port it's called that two port node on PC 2K, which is probably the cheapest hardware. So, yeah, at least you could get the details for that in the description down below. So, so at least you need to have some image hardware. Okay, look at this. You're running some lights for this very skillful DJ, turning on lights to the beat. Then the DJ suddenly changes the mood to to a chill vibe. Like, let's say you're in like some EDM vibe, then after that, DJ just suddenly just changes the mood to like some emotional vibe very deep and you have to quickly snap off some lights but your queue is on one of these playback buttons down here you literally have to look for the control button on your keyboard then hit the function key where your button is toward those two seconds that you spent looking for the control button trust me they would have made a difference in your show because like those two seconds would have been like the time you'd have used to snap off the lights immediately to the to the button when the dj changes the mood so it would have changed the way you interact with the lights and it would have made a big difference, but you spend that time looking for the control button, then going to the function key. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to take less than two seconds to look for a way to turn on the playback buttons that are on the lower side from the X11 keys to the X20. Yeah, to the X20 keys, which are on the on the lower part of the playback buttons that you have on your own PC software. So basically what you're going to be doing is changing the number buttons from triggering the number values on the MS on the MS software to triggering the actual X keys because come on you cannot tell me you don't have time during your programming to actually go and manually use your mouse and click that so so yeah we're gonna be changing them from running these buttons are uh, that trigger number values to actually triggering the playbacks on the X11 to X20 keys so yeah let's go okay so now this is how your screen will be by default your your keys down here will be actually running control let me just put them back to default real quick and i'll show you step by step how to bring them to a good way so this is how it's gonna be like you have to press control then press f3 and on a show you don't want to do that because it's really inconvenient and time wasting so you want to change this your number keys by default your keys usually are here this will be like the number one key will run number one number two run number two so you want to change this because this is only most of the time used in programming so I don't think you'll have to use this during a live show. So you'll want to change this to that. So to do that, you want to first open your setup right here. I've put it on screen 5 because it's bigger and you can easily see it. Let me expand it. Then you want to come here into the console tab. Go down to the second last option, which is edit keyboard shortcuts. Then you want to select this here. Then it's going to take you here. So this is where all your things, all your controls are. So direct access is where like you press a key directly and it will trigger another thing to trigger um to trigger a piece a, a hard key so so this is when you have to press control and then do something then this is when you have to press alt then this is when you have to press control alt to access a certain command on the software so now for the for the case of the x11 to x20 keys they are they are actually here because by default x11 is control f1 x12 is control f2 so you want to change it to just F2, to just a uh, one, just two, because currently here you can see the number keys are really doing nothing much. It's just one running one, two running two. So you want to change this to one running X11, two running, two running uh, X12. So to do that, what you're going to do is first come to the control access keys. Then you want to click uh, the key that you want to change, like X11. Then you're going to delete. So you press this delete you want to first remove them from the control access area and bring them to the direct access area so you want to press control i'm sorry first select it and here you cannot actually do a light selection you can only do it one by one so you click then you press delete so you have to use the one that's directly under it so for alt access are this then this so you have to use the one that's directly under it so you press it then press delete just like that it will go away 
so you do this for oops sorry i press add so you do this for all of them delete 13 so it will, so you just have to keep pressing delete because it will automatically go to the next uh, hard key so that's done then you're going to come to your direct access uh, access keys uh, you're going to now come to add this time so now before you actually do that you're going to also come here and delete uh delete the one which is having the actual hard key so you want to go to one this is the pc key that you click you go to one you're going to delete two delete three delete four delete five come to six seven eight i'm using the scroll wheel to move to the next one eight nine and then look for the zero which is i think on the top yeah see a zero and delete yeah now we have got rid of all of that so now we are going to come and press add here select the hard key that you want to add so this is now we are now doing x11 to x20 so you can select x11 and then it will say pick the virtual pc code to you so you're going to press one and now if i'm to check right here and i go to one which is uh one one here x11 is now triggered by the pc key one so you want to do that for all the all the keys in 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 uh, from x uh, x11 to x so i've done x11 so now we are going to do uh, where has it gone have i deleted it oh, i think i've deleted it so i'm going to do that oops i kept deleting okay so i press add x11 number one add so i'm going to do this real quick on the time lapse. i've been looking for a way out i can't find my way now i just need you by my side lately i've been thinking baby we could get away and never look back Okay, so now that we have done that, so now you can see all the keys are here very well. X20 is running 0, X19 is running 9. So now you're going to come back to the, you're going to just exit out of that, then you're going to come and check here. So you can see right now when I press 1, it will trigger the X11. When I press this, it will trigger the X12. So it's all done, it's all perfectly done the way I want it. Yeah, so that's how it's done. Very simple, very basic. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like the video, consider subscribing because this helps the algorithm and also like so that the video can spread out other guys. Peace out. See you next time. Happy programming. I've been looking for a way out. I can't find my way now. I just need you by my side. Lately, I've been thinking, baby, we could get away and never look back.